Why is it every time I do my makeup, my nose always runs? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am sitting on the floor because I could not find the right lighting absolutely anywhere. I was having problems with the focus of my camera. It worked here, so I am staying here. So today I am doing a brow tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be doing two different brow looks because I feel like it's really in trend to have fluffy brows these days. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that stuff style of brow Ooh. and I'm also going to be showing you how to do like a sculpted brow as well because I do find I go in between the two personally on my face I don't think the fluffy brow suits me that much as it does other people it might be as well because I don't get my brows done and like shaped and everything and trimmed so but I'm going to show you the products that I use and the technique to doing your brows. So I'm gonna zoom you all in. I'm gonna do my sculpted sort of brow first. So all that you need for this is, I mean, you can do your brows with absolutely anything, powder, pomade, pencil, that's basically it. There's micro pens. There's a lot of things now, but I just like to get my mirror. I like to use a really up close little mirror for doing my brows. Great, someone's chosen to take this time to vacuum their house. I really hope you can't hear that. So first I just brush through my brows. It's good to do because usually there's foundation and other product in them. Like right now I've got foundation coming off there. So I like to use the arch brow from Hourglass. This is like got a bigger tip to it. See? Which I find is just super quick and easy. So definitely recommend investing in something like this if you want to do your brows really, really fast. So my brows are quite uneven. They are two different shapes. And even when I fill them in, they still do usually look quite uneven. But that's what it is. Your brows are never going to be completely symmetrical. So it's all good. But first I start at the bottom of my brow. And I create a straight, a straight line from there to under my arch. Might zoom you in even closer. And then, it's so annoying that someone's vacuuming right now. I really, really hope you can't hear it. Oh well. Every time I want to film a video, every, something goes wrong, literally every single time, but I'm just gonna, just gonna keep going. And then I create a line for my arch. So I go on top of my arch here and right to the tail. And I went a little bit thick there, so you can just sort of pat it away. And then I do a line under, under the tail of my brow to there. And then you can comb that out. Oh, that person's being so noisy. <sighs> and then for this brow, as you can see, this brow is sort of like lower here than this one. So I do create a line sort of going on top of the natural brow. Just to there again. See right now it looks a little bit crazy, but then we comb it out again. Brushing through the brow definitely gets the most natural look. Now sometimes I go in with a smaller pencil if I want to create fine strokes at the front of my brow, but you can definitely do it with this as well. So this is where I just fill in the front. I don't necessarily like color in the front, I just do little strokes. Oh, and as you can see, it's very, very natural shape depending on your brow shape and the density of your brow hairs will be where you want to fill in so if you had a gap here obviously you want to fill in the sparse spots so i think that's a pretty good shape for that brow and we're going to clean it up afterwards so it doesn't need to be absolutely perfect now i either go in with a tinted brow gel or a clear brow gel I'm going to be using a tinted brow gel today. Again, this is the Hourglass one in Soft Brunette as well. And I just coat over the hairs. Brow look a lot fuller because it picks up all those little white hairs and coats them. Cool. And then to sculpt out my brow, I use this Morphe Times Ariel brush. This is the A19 brush. And then I use the Macadamia Pot Concealer from NARS. And I just grab a tiny little bit of that. Look, sometimes I honestly skip this step 
if I just am going for a natural look, this is more than fine. But if you want it to look really nice and neat, this does create more of a shape. So I do like it for the end of the brow. I feel like it just really cleans up. See how I haven't used a heavy amount of concealer at all. I've literally used the tiniest amount and because I don't want it to look like I have concealer under my eyebrow. I just want it to look like I've got a clean brow. And then you can grab a little bit of that and go on top of the brow. Sorry, I'm sort of blocking off. I just go on top of the tail. Not so much this part. My foundation sort of moved off there. That's all right. Yeah, that's basically where I put the concealer and that is my more sculpted brow. But it's definitely still a natural brow. I don't do very, very dominant eye dominant. <laughs> I don't do really strong eyebrows. It just doesn't suit my face, but that is how I do my eyebrow. And I'm going to go show you the other brow quickly as well, just to show you how I sort of get them even. So again, I do the same under technique. This one, I go a little bit lower. This one, I try to go a bit higher because naturally that brow is a bit higher than this one. I don't know how to explain it. Like probably not things that you can even notice, but I can because they're my eyebrows, obviously. So if I'm doing it fast as well, sometimes I put the brow pencil this way and I draw up like that with the thick end just to fill in this middle section. Cleaners are out there. That's what's going on in the foyer sort of section. But once you know what works for your brow, it is very easy to just quickly whack it on. So I am trying to look at my other brow a little bit to make sure that they're even. Go a little bit higher on this one. Does anyone else get insane pins and needles in like a really short span of time if they're sitting on their foot or something in a weird way? I just, I get pins and needles so quick. I don't know if that's an issue. Even when I'm sleeping like through the night, always have pins and needles. And I sculpt them out. Start at the front, along the bottom. Sometimes I actually just go over the little eyebrow hairs that I don't want there. They're too small to like tweeze out. So now that I've done both of them, I can see that this brow needs a little bit more in the front. I'll go back and just do a little bit more here. That, I feel like that's a bit better. And maybe the top here, just a little bit more defined. There's my more sculpted brows. So I hope that was quick and easy to follow along with. My nose literally won't stop running. But yeah, so that's the finished look with the sculpted brows. Now I'll be back to show you the fluffy brows, which definitely take a lot more time. Obviously the foundation gone off my brows now, but when I clean them up with the concealer, we can fix all that. So to create the fluffy brow look, you definitely need a brow soak. A brow gel is not going to cut it. It's not going to hold them in place and it's not going to get you that really lifted sort of effect. So I, def I would definitely say get yourself a brow soap. I just have the Mecca Max one at the moment. I really don't think this is like the best one on the market. I feel like you could get better. I feel like the Anastasia one or I've been seeing other companies as well um, that has ones that look really, really good. You're going to need a spoolie and I like to bend it like this on this angle and I've got cat hair on mine. Of course, nothing's changed there. And you also need like Mac Fix Plus or something to wet your spoolie, which is a little bit annoying that you need to have a setting spray on you because maybe some people don't use setting sprays and you'll have to get one just for the purpose of that. But it's the only way that you're gonna be able to activate the soap. So you just dig around in there for a bit. Now I haven't actually done my brows for a very long time. So hopefully we go okay. And then you just wanna lift Look how long my brow hairs are. <laughs> so it's a lot of sort of fiddling around and working out the shape and everything. 
and then I go on top and I sort of flatten them down a bit because I don't want them that like spiky and crazy. Sometimes the brow soap can go a little bit flaky as well and sort of move around. And then once it's like that, I go in with the warmth of my finger and like press it down. This time I'm going to do my brows like at the same time, like when I do a step here, I'm going to move over to this one. Just because when you're doing this fluffy brow technique, I feel like you really need to check in with both brows as you're going if you want to get them as even as you can. So that's how I usually do it when I do this technique. It looks so funny when I do that. Look at the wrinkles in my forehead. <laughs> Need Botox. Yeah, I find this brow doesn't stick down as well as my other brow. I don't know how that can be. But I look like a crazy person. All my foundation and stuff around my brow is just like, see ya later. Yeah, I really feel like my brow hair is a lot more thick and coarse on this side. On this side. And then press. We'll just let that set for a minute. And then I like to go around my brow a little bit. I guess I'm just going to use this micellar water just to get the rest of that. So, so when I'm doing this brow technique, I either use a micro tip pencil or I use a powder. I'm actually going to try using a powder today. I feel like it's going to get a bit more of a natural look using the powder. So I'm going to use this Anastasia brow powder kit and I'm going to be using the soft brown color on this Morphe angled brush. And with this, you literally just want to follow the shape of the hairs and the direction that they're going in. I just want to fill in any gaps. So this brow definitely takes more time. You've got to be quite specific with each time you place down the color. It's definitely more of a slower process, but worth it in the end if you want that look. If your brows naturally just have the most perfect shape when you put the brow soap in them, and they're nice and thick, then you won't really have anything else to do but put the brow soap in, so lucky you. But if you're like me and your brows aren't naturally super full, then you're going to have to spend time doing this. <laughs> On the ends as well, I like to elongate it a little bit. I feel like doing this brow as well gives you a lot more room for your shadow like i don't know i just feel like it makes the face look a bit more lifted but they are quite intense like for my face i feel but i have definitely really brushed them up and made them look super fluffy today so that shape i'm pretty happy with i might go a little bit higher at the front here i will fiddle with it a little bit more when i do my other one i'm not going to show you both of them filling them in because i feel like that's a little bit boring but I will show you my tidying up process. So again, right under the brow. I feel like doing the concealing for the fluffy brow is quite important because it does just make it look that little bit more neat. And I just go under my brow when I'm doing it. Usually my foundation and everything's up here. Oh, my foot is dying. So usually I have foundation up there, but obviously it moved when I had to wipe my eyebrows off. So we'll pop a bit on top and there's the brow. I'm going to go do the other one off camera and then I'll be back. All right. So here is both my brows all done. I feel like this brow naturally is like higher than this one. So it looks a little bit uneven in that sense. I hope that was easy enough for you guys to follow along and, and do your brows the same sort of way. I know this trend is like really in at the moment and not everyone has the perfect brows for it. I definitely don't. So if I can get my brows like this, of course you can too. It's just about fiddling around with them a little bit and creating them to a shape that looks flattering on your face. Close up. Again, when your eye makeup's like a little bit more bold and stuff, they look a little bit less dramatic. Let me know in the comments what you prefer, either the more sculpted brow or this one. But I really hope these little brow tips helped you guys out and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll zoom out so I'm not in your face when I'm saying goodbye. <laughs> I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.
I love how I did a little wave at the end. 